This is the flyback driver and flyback transformer that I described in my previous video and I have it plugged in and ready to go and the first thing I'm going to try with it is to power this MOX generator which I've recently put together consisting of a total of two rows each of nine 20 kilovolt hundred sorry thousand picofarad capacitors and these are you know high quality ceramic capacitors and uh, I've taken the leads of the capacitors and curved them back to reduce corona discharge and you can see how this thing is put together basically drilled holes in this polycarbonate plastic I'm using one mega ohm resistors to separate the uh, capacitors as you can see there and I've got two bleed resistors on the bottom you also one mega ohm each so a total of uh, two mega ohms of bleed resistors and then I'm taking the leads off the bottom as you can see there and uh, I think one limitation of this is you can only separate the two discharge points at the top uh, by a minimal amount you know if you separate them too much it's going to flash right across the uh, the, the uh, polycarbonate plate instead of uh, arcing through the air and uh, when I design my second one, I'm going to take that into account. All right, well, let's uh, test this thing out. I'm about to uh, connect it up to the uh, flyback. Okay, I've connected the flyback to the um, Marx generator. I'm about to uh, test it out. So we'll see what happens with it. Okay, what I did now is I reduced the uh, spacings of these very first two spark gaps to prevent arc over. I was noting there was arc over on this one uh, across the resistor. So I've reduced it on both sides to about the same amount and the rest of them are equal. And I use this, just this piece of plastic rod to space the rest of them. And these ones are about maybe 30% less than all the other ones. And uh, I just tested it, and I think that's going to pre uh, prevent the arc over occurring on that resistor right there. So let's try it right now. Okay, here we go. I'm going to use this plastic rod to turn this thing on because you can get some kickback, which can give you a shock if you touch the switch. There it goes. I'm still seeing arc over. Okay, let me see if I can fix that off over. 